have another odd episode of Renegade Cunt for you. This one's about the MCU and comes in two parts. Part one, what I think will happen in Infinity War and why, and part two, what I think should be done in phase four, in an ideal world. Infinity War is going to be big, ridiculously big, but what's it going to involve? In all likelihood, Thanos and his little trained minions will invade, Vision will die when the stone is ripped from his head, and everyone will fight. Eventually, all the heroes without contract extensions will die, and thanks to Soul Gem shenanigans, we'll see Captain America in heaven with Agent Carter. That's just my guess. But that's basically the same thing as Avengers 1. Except for the Soul stuff. Even raising the stakes and having him aim to kill the whole universe for death, who will probably be Hela, is basically the same thing as before. It needs a twist. Something to cement it as the unassailable media crossover event of all time. Something so mad that the general audiences won't see it coming. Something that'll blow their minds. And I think I know what that something is. It's even laid out in Doctor Strange. Parallel universes. I think Thanos will use a gauntlet to access the multiverse and plans to destroy not just the MCU, but every Marvel universe there is. How did they achieve this? Well, my guess is by buying footage from other studio films and incorporating it into their own. Shots of people seeing some wave of destruction happening. Why would other studios go for this? Well, it's free money from Marvel and they get their own films advertised in the biggest film event of the century. It's not like they need complicated deals, it's buying the use of certain shots. I've gone this far, so why not go further? Why not allow characters to arrive from other realities and digitally add some extra Spider-Man joining in the fight against Thanos? Just get Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield to do a day's ADR. I mean, Sony's already working with Marvel and Spider-Man, it's not that crazy an idea. Okay, it is. But going matter to a degree that'll never happen, why not an alternate reality X-Men made up of whoever's cheap enough to do a day's filming? It'd be worth it for a shot of Hulk fastball specialing a costume-accurate Wolverine into action. And I bet Hugh Jackman would cut him a retirement for it. But why would Marvel give themselves this headache? This expense? Why? Instead of just making Infinity War a bigger version of the Avengers, it turns it into a crossover event that's almost impossible to top. The culmination of not just the MCU, but every Marvel film ever made. It takes it from being an event into being a monument. Because it allows them to make as official as possible that all the other Marvel universes on screen are pale imitations. That the others are essentially an extension of them. There's even precedence for this madness in film too. Ever seen Turtles Forever? It's not great, but it featured a crossover between the modern day Turtles and the 80s versions and they had to team up to stop a villain from killing the Turtles from the original issue of the black and white comic. It featured a nexus of all versions of the Turtles from the movies to the next mutation, and it was glorious. Anyway, that's what I think is going to happen in Infinity War. Now, I have no idea to what degree, but I'll be very disappointed if none of it happens. And admit it, now that I've suggested it, you'll be very disappointed too. On to Phase 4. There's no evidence that any of this is going to happen. It's just my ideal world suggestion. Infinity War's post credit sequence fades in in an old castle at night. Caption, Latveria. Inside, we see a computer screen, stuff is happening, something is being tracked. We see a metal hand in the shot and an old but powerful voice say something like, He was right. It's coming. End. Instead of Thanos or Hydra, Phase 4's uniting thread should be Doctor Doom. He doesn't fight the heroes, he just cameos, he's manipulating and controlling the villains all phase. Eventually, he meets the Avengers and we find out what's going on. The it that's coming is Galactus, and all phase, Doom has been trying to collect what he needs to kill him. And the heroes have been fucking it up. Why didn't you ask us for help? They ask, and he points out that he's Dr. Fucking Doom. And he can only do this because fuck you, Stark, you joke. Yeah, Avengers 5 would be them versus Galactus. I come down from the multiverse ending power of Thanos, but the visuals be big in a new way. Imagine comic accurate Galactus battling all the Avengers. Anyway, where's Fantastic Four? Uh, simple. In the 60s, the four were celebrity heroes. Think Beatlemania. We get all sorts of 60s chic flashbacks and documentary footage of them. Then Reed worked out that the cosmic rays that gave them their powers are similar to ones that he's detecting in deep space. That the source of the other rays moved at the time of the accident and has been approaching Earth ever since. And that wherever it goes, planets and suns vanish. Now I'm not saying Galactus gave them their powers, I'm just saying it's similar enough to have caught his or the surface attention. So Reed's trying to create something to prepare for Galactus when Doctor Doom attacks. Reed tried to explain, but Doom manages to lock the four in the negative zone. Ever since then, Doom has been the reclusive ruler of Latveria, and ever since he confirmed what Reed had said, he's been obsessing over it. Not only was Richards right, but the Earth may be destroyed under the watch of Doctor Doom, and that will not do. So his armor includes life support mechanisms, because the guy's like a hundred at this point, and he is never seen without it. Anyway, Galactus arrives, and they reopen the negative zone portal and out pop the four. No need for an origin, and no older than they were in the 60s. Ready to have pop art inspired sci-fi adventures after they join the fight against Galactus. 
Richard's doom Stark and whatever science people are around work together to finish the weapon that'll kill or at the very least drive Galactus away and Doom sacrifices himself to use it. Because no one else is worthy of saving the Earth and fuck you, Richards. Then the four can have their own film or prequel. Might I suggest a giant monster film, like their earliest comics? Maybe an animal was brought on their mission for science reasons and it mutates into a kaiju? Make the story as simple as possible, because the 60s awesomeness and family dynamic is the important stuff here. Anyway, that's it. Infinity War and Phase 4. What do you think? <laughs> Additional, when I was scripting this, I found out that Movie Bob was also working on a video about how to handle the Fantastic Four in the MCU. And as soon as it's up, I'll link it below. Go check it out, it's sure to be fascinating. Amen.